So I'm oh, here shit. at MCM Reed Park. Right here. <laughs> and I thought I'd take a break from the UK Garrison stand and I thought I'd come over and see our friends at the Droid Builders. I have a quick look around, just see what these guys have got. If the camera follow me this way. They got some wonderful props, toys, and real, real droids, actual droids that do stuff. One even rides a bike. It's absolutely incredible. And I'm here with Oliver. Hello, Oliver. Hello. Are you enjoying Comic Con? Yeah, it's been now, was it three years since COVID and everything. So it's great to be at a proper event with public. What first got you into building droids? Oh, it's a long story. So you've got all the time in the world. I doubt it. Um, so years ago, I did a small TV show called Robot Wars, um, and I was doing a degree in engineering at the time. After my degree, so I stopped doing Robot Wars. It's like, what can I do? And then I came across one drunken night, the R2 builders, and then it's a slippery slope, as you know. 20 years later, I've got several droids and the rest, as they say, is history. Yeah, like every sort of costumer, it's sort of like spirals. One minute you're thinking about doing something, and then five years later, it's like, oh, will my wife or girlfriend let me build another costume? Let me have another droid. The other thing that people won't know, but you had some involvement with the actual films. Yeah, so I was uh, one of the people that built R2-D2 for Force Awakens. Uh, and was that the highlight of your, your hobby or, or is it yet to come? It's always, it's a really hard question because the highlight for me is always being a droid build and not building a droid for a film. Um, it's always amazing to go to events like this to see how th people are doing stuff. Uh, it's like some of this technology we used was 20, 30 year old technology and as people, new people come along they bring new skills and we are constantly evolving as a club building droids in different ways but still sticking to the same R2 shape and it's always good to be evolving as a club and not sort of stuck in the 70s. What, what's your next project? What's your big goal? Oh, so um, rumour has it there's a big Star Wars event next year Apparently, Reed Pop celebration, April 7th to 10th. Be there or be squarish. Yeah, or um, just miss it and really miss out. Yeah. So, a uh, lot of our builders are finishing droids for celebration. I'm, yeah, maybe a droid builder, so doing some of the droid building stuff, organising it. Um, and we're making some droids for celebration, doing a few like DJ Rexes and Rex from Star Tours. Oh, wow. Yeah, as well as a few other bits and pieces to show to the public. So if somebody wanted to build a droid, how would they go about it? Uh, you're 18, you haven't got an awful lot of money. Uh, we do have the advent of 3D printing, which I know has advanced yeah. your hobby somewhat. What do they do? How, who do they speak to? So they can join, um, come to, like if they search for droid builders, they can join us on Facebook. Um, we've got a YouTube channel join the go to the website which provides details and um, they can join the club attend like, local meets or come to an event like MCM uh, here at Birmingham Excel any other events and we can like show people droids say what to do same uh, with any any other club like yourself Gary so I mean costuming is is a reasonably expensive hobby um, as we both know uh, uh, but it's fun. And so is, it, is droid building the same? Is it an expensive hobby? Is there a is there a budget way of starting out? I mean, I, I saw a mouse droid today. Is that a, is that a good way to get involved in droid building? It all depends what people want to do and what type of droids you can build. A like a mouse droid, as you said, a cheap remote control car, a bit of foam on top, and it's perfectly good. Um, then you can look at building. A 3D printed Astromech or Outer Sheep Styrene fairly cheaply. Um, you can go right just up. by Astromech, you mean a, a, Sorry, a, a R2, basic R2 unit? R2 unit. Yeah, no, um, just so or you can go for like a fully aluminium droid, which is probably £10,000 plus, but that's sort of like top of the line. 
it's what you want to fit in. We have plenty of cheap droids. The R2 builders are really easy going. As long as it's safe and isn't going to hurt a child, yeah, any droid Star Wars he can come to events. So basically, I join your Facebook group or, or watch a YouTube channel, come along to an event like this, come and talk to somebody like yourself or one of the other guys here, and there's guys and girls and all sorts, and all sorts of ages here, and I can be a droid builder. Exactly, yeah. You can't get better than that. I'd like to thank Oliver for spending some time with me. Look up the droid builders. You can see their sign just up there. Uh, they are... Oh, look in the description below. There. Just here. Thank you very much. Thanks very much, Oliver. Thanks, Gary.